Okay, so we are back in the labyrinth, and um, I believe that you, yeah, I think it's a pretty good guess that you need at least 25 of a certain stat to open up one of the doors. And so as you can see, I've been I've used up my six Lou incenses on Mother Harlot, which should let me open up this door. I, yeah. Okay. And, well, you see if there are any goodies that we can nab while we're down here. So there's at least two doors we can check. And, um, okay. And some treasure chests on the other side of this wall. So let's head back and see if we can get those. Ah, okay, so we need to open up another door. If you wish to pass, let one whose soul is black step forward. Hmm. I actually have a very good, fairly good idea of who I actually need to open up that door. Um, I need to read up on how I actually acquire him though. Because I'm not sure how to do that. Right, so we are back in the tower, and I actually went up to the door which leads to the Baal Avatar fight and realized that I had forgotten to do the Noah fight, so let's do that one. Should be easier uh, with Fry Kugel, since I should be able to pierce his defenses completely. Okay. Um, I am a little bit hesitant of actually attacking him with physical attacks. Uh, I don't remember if they actually work against him because I pretty much never used them the first time I did this fight. So, um, yeah, we're not gonna do that. I figured that as soon as he starts uh, shifting his resistances, you're not gonna be able to attack him physically anyway. Because there wouldn't be much point in doing that. Uh, because the whole point of the fight is to pretty much use a different magic every time he he changes. So using physical attacks would make the whole point of the battle moot. And well, besides Fry Kugel, uh, I realized that I. I think I might be actually lacking some elemental magics, which I did have in the previous fight. 
Which won't actually work here because I don't really have them. So, for example, to counter force based attacks, I would need an electric attack. Well, okay. So I can cover that with Thor or someone. But if he uses an electric attack, I. I don't think I actually have um, uh, a force attack to attack him with. And yeah, even though I can actually use Fry Kugel, I do have to wait two turns before I can... Or uh, two rounds before I can actually use it, so... I do want to make use of my demons abilities as well, just to fill out, uh, to make it, to dish out as much damage as possible. And also, um, debuff and buff as usual, if I can. I think I actually had a better demon line than the previous time I fought this guy. Besides Fry Kugel though. forgotten that he has a second form. And he starts using group spells instead of single target. Right. Doesn't make much difference to me though. Oh and yeah, as you can see I, st I actually have the Masakados Magatama equipped. Um, but I do figure that I'm not going to use it for at least the, the, the final boss fight, since, um, I mean, even if we can assume that he is a difficult boss fight, or he, she, it, whatever, I think that actually having Masakados equipped would even make that fight a little bit too easy, so I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna use it there. Because I do kind of want, the point of this, of doing the true demon ending is that I do want to have a more difficult final boss fight. That's the whole point of this. Um, that's what I'm striving for. So I think that if I would use Masakados, I would eat, I would actually trivialize th that fight. Um, so yeah, I'm just testing it out in this, in during this boss fight. And, well, for the ball avatar fight, it should be sufficient to simply use on the Magatama, which nullifies ex expel based attacks. So, that should work just fine. Yeah, I. I, I don't know. I, why would you even use Masakados? I suppose you kind of would have make use of it for. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I suppose it's just a very useful Magatama to have in if you play, if you go for the true demon ending on hard mode or something. I can't think of any other way where it would make, 
well, the actual purpose the, the Magatama serves. I mean, either way, you won't actually get it until fairly late into the game, so... So I can only see the reason why you would get it is to use it for the final boss fight in the true demon ending. I, I suppose. And yeah, even though I say that I wanted to, wanted to try out the Magatama in the, during this boss fight, I have tried it out during normal fights and it actually nullifies physical attacks as well, which I kind of suspected, but yeah, that's it just makes it such a good Magatama. Um, and I am... I keep forgetting which skill he's using. Yeah. I really think I did... <laughs> I, I need to change my lineup before the final boss fight because... I do think that the demons I have, which I've been fusing around a little bit, uh, they are a little bit too much focused on physical attacks, because I don't really have that many different kinds of elemental magic attacks right now. Yeah, I, I think I actually preferred the, the demon lineup I had before. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some adjustments before that fight. And I forgot again. <laughs> that is great. Uh, yeah, so now he uses uh, an electric attack and I can't use a force attack against him, so we're just gonna have to stick with Fry Kugel. Which is fine in itself, but you know. The more damage you can do each turn, the, the better. Yeah, I yeah, I know. I should have probably just used SP uh. MP, restorative items, instead of just draining. Now that I think about it. By the way, does uh, maybe someone can help me out with my question here. The thing is that I've been contemplating how you actually how how it actually works when you increase the damage for Fry Kugel. I mean, so it's uh, I I remember that when I read about the skill on on the wiki online, it actually says that Fry Kugel is a physical almighty skill. Oh, and he's dead. So, how do you actually buff the skill the best way? Do you buff with buff your physical damage, or do you buff your magical damage, or you does it simply work if you buff both of them? I well, I suppose that makes sense. Or well, either way, buffing yourself and debuffing your enemies is still a good way to increase your damage. So, but I'm just just I'm just curious of. Uh, how it actually works in practice. I mean, how do you buff the damage on the skill, simply? I guess you use both. Like both Makakasha and Tarukasha. So yeah, if anyone knows, please leave a comment, since I'm curious. <laughs> 